Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am your host, Tom Downey. Back once again, let's dive into the notable news item around the Cowboys, which I'm sure you've all heard by now. The Cowboys have signed George Iloka, as I predicted on Twitter earlier this week, while I was out of town, the Cowboys were going to sign somebody. Guess what happens on my flight back into town? The Cowboys signed George Iloka. Very classic move right there by the Cowboys. They're getting too predictable. As for the actual move itself, I like it, and I think most of you guys do as well. A one-year deal. Contract details not yet known. It's going to be cheap, I promise you there. And Iloka, at worst, gives the Cowboys depth. He did not play much for Minnesota last year. That's okay. He'll come in. I assume beat out Jeff Heath for the starting strong safety role based on the current roster construction. Pair with, with Xavier Woods, and it allows Jeff Heath to be more of what he really is. A nice number three safety that can help out in a big, big way on special teams. So yes, the numbers weren't that good last year for George Iloka, but the hope is with more playing time, he comes more like what we saw with the Bengals where actually a pretty decent player. Now, he played more deep safety for the Bengals. He'll be more of a box guy for the Cowboys, but in the end, I think it's a good pickup here by the Dallas Cowboys. Let me know what you guys graded, but I'm very pleased with it in the end for the Cowboys. It's nothing spectacular. It's maybe not as good as the, as the Randall Cobb deal. It's not like signing Eric Berry for a million bucks we'll get to here in a minute, but it's a very quality pickup. I give it a B for the Cowboys with the asterisk that if it's something outlandish on terms of the contract details, that I reserve the right to change my mind. All right, folks, some more Cowboys rumors. This one ties right into it. Because you signed George Iloka, are the Cowboys out on Eric Berry? I kind of think so. I'm going to give it three stars. Not totally set in stone. You could see a scenario where some safety gets hurt and the Cowboys re resume interest in Eric Berry or Eric Berry waits a while to sign and maybe the Cowboys are still in play there. But I think this means the Cowboys aren't going to go get Eric Berry. They brought him in for a visit, signed George instead, and the medical is the big issue for Eric Berry. He's played in three games in the past two years. That's not someone you can actually trust to be on the field each week. Now, I don't know how the medical came in. There probably are still some red flags there, and that's why I'm not totally out because maybe no one signs Eric Berry, and the Cowboys try again later on in the offseason or even in the preseason. But for now, I just don't think it's going to happen. George Iloka plays. He's on the field a lot. Eric Berry... He has not been able to play very much for the Dow for, for the Kansas City Chiefs. So I think from that big reason, and plus, I was going to be cheaper than Barry, I would assume. Uh, George comes in, Eric Barry likely not going to come to the Dallas Cowboys. I still, still think the Browns make a lot of sense there. Now, today's show was brought to you guys by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports book. Is your bracket already busted? If so, I am sorry. That's what you get for picking Kansas, though. They just weren't that good this year. But if you want to make some money back, go play with BetDSI. Use that promo code cowboys 120 Bet on all the games. You can re recoup your losses there. And that bonus money, even if you miss some picks, you're still going to be just fine. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys120. Some more free agency buzz here. How about Malik McDowell to the Cowboys? I'll give this one two stars because the Cowboys did meet with him, which I think is very noteworthy because I haven't heard of anyone else meeting with him. And it was a quote-unquote productive visit with the Cowboys and McDowell. But much like Eric Berry, even worse so than, than Eric Berry, the medical's the big issue here. The Seahawks never cleared McDowell to come back after a rather severe ATV accident, which I don't know if we'll ever get the full details on what happened there, but the 2017 second round pick has not played in the NFL. And if I had to guess, I don't like making this guess, but I think it's the, it's the reality of this situation, I don't know if he's gonna play again. It was a bad ATV accident. The Seahawks were not going to clear him to return. The Cowboys might not clear him either. That's why it's only two stars there. Now, if you're wondering what the two stars means, well, we'll break it down for you guys here. Two stars is people are talking firmly in that rumor category. One star is a small shred of truth. Three stars is pretty likely. Four stars is Zeke's eating. It's a done deal. But zero stars, that's the number of fights Odell Beckham won against the net. But he's not with the Giants anymore. We don't need to make fun of Odell Beckham much. So we need a new zero stars here on the Cowboys report. So what should it be? Let me know in the comments. I can put this on the community tab as well. But we need a new zero stars here on the Cowboys report. Let me know what you guys think it should be. In the meantime, we'll stick with more defensive end rumors and defensive line rumors here. How about a Robert Quinn trade? I'll give this one two stars. I'll be honest if you had asked me this three days ago. Probably would have given it three. 
I'm going to knock it down to two, though, and here's why. Yes, the Cowboys and Dolphins have had trade talks, and the Cowboys met with Quinn in Dallas. But there are some roadblocks here, and if you ask me if, the, if Robert Quinn will end up on the Cowboys, I'll actually give it three stars. But even though the production's been pretty good, there are some reasons why Robert Quinn isn't commanding a massive market right now. Yeah, he's a bit older, there's an injury history, and his contract's pretty big, but a big reason why Robert Quinn hasn't found his way to Dallas yet necessarily, two things. One, the Cowboys have to work out a new deal with Quinn. The way his contract's set up, you want to extend him and lessen the cap it over, over the immediate short term there. And beyond that, there were the reports that the Saints had interest in Quinn, and that he took a visit, visit to New Orleans, which by the way, never actually happened. And the initial report came out of the Miami area. Are the Cowboys just bidding against themselves here? That might be part of the reason why a Quinn deal hasn't gone down at this point. Now, I do like the idea, I'm a big fan of it actually, of bringing in Robert Quinn. Demarcus Lawrence comes in, this is kind of more your base package on third down. Tyrone Crawford kicks inside, we'll get to his issues later in a minute. And Robert Quinn in reality helps take over for the Randy Gregory snap count. You still have Kerry Hyder, you still have Daniel Ross and Christian Covington and Collins and Woods and I guess Taco for now. But that's part of the reason why a Robert Quinn trade hasn't gone down yet. Again, in the end, I do lean towards Quinn being on the Cowboys in 2019. But what would you guys trade for Robert Quinn? Let me know in the comments section. I, I think the asking price is a mid to late round pick in 2020. Let's say round four, round five. Is that too much for you guys? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And we'll stick with our defensive line talk here. Is the deal with Demarcus Lawrence going to get done? I will continue to give this one three stars. Some of some people have panicked out there in the media. I have not yet. Jay Glazer agrees. He thinks the Cowboys will re-sign Demarcus Lawrence for a long time because they know, because they're not stupid, that he's good and he's worth a huge contract. And oh, by the way, the Cowboys have the money to afford to re-sign Demarcus Lawrence. So. I know it hasn't been as fast as I want it, as you guys want it, and we don't really know why it's dragging out, but let's not forget, Demarcus Lawrence did show up at captain's workouts. That's noteworthy, I think, for Demarcus Lawrence. That's a sign, at least from his end, that look, I'm doing the right things here. I'm not going totally rogue and not showing up and not doing anything. I think that's a positive sign for Demarcus Lawrence and for the Dallas Cowboys. I lean towards this deal getting done. In fact, I'll be real upset and real surprised if it doesn't get done at some point before the end, before the start of the season. More defensive line talk. This one, not so good. Is Tyrone Crawford in trouble? Well, four stars on this one, folks. As in a very un-Crawford-like move, he got himself into a bar fight down in Florida. And the NFL is now investigating that video that TMZ Sports put out. And I also put it on my Twitter account, at WhatGoingDowny. Now, on the, I guess, bright side for Tyrone Crawford, it is his first incident, but a suspension is still possible. That's how the CBA works. That's how the personal conduct policy works. And it's really weird to see Crawford involved in it because Tyrone Crawford has always been the team leader. He's always been the guy that says, no, 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 don't do that thing. Keep yourself on the right side of the law and being the mentor type to guys like Randy Gregory. And then Crawford gets himself in trouble. So here's my concern. You might not have Randy Gregory. You might not have Tyrone Crawford. All of a sudden, Tank is your only reliable pass rusher. I like Jalen Smith, but he is a blitzer at times. He's not going to always rush the passer. So if Crawford gets suspended, all of a sudden, once again, you're down to Demarcus Lawrence and Kerry Hyatt or Taco Charlton as your starters. And who also who pressures from the inside? That's a big red flag to me. So again, four stars, he's in trouble. I don't think it's going to be a six-game suspension or anything crazy like that, but maybe it's a one or two game, which also, by the way, just to note, would void Crawford's guarantees going forward on his contract. All right, folks, if you are tired of commercials, especially during March Madness that cut in at the very poor timing there, well, say goodbye to them. Go download the My TV Choice app at mytvchoice.com. When a commercial comes on, the app knows it's going to send you video content from people like us here at Chat Sports. So if you want to watch the game and get some Chat Sports content, go download the My TV Choice app, mytvchoice.com. And then one last rumor for you. Are the Cowboys planning for the best player available in the draft? Four stars on this one. This, by the way, is what smart teams do. 
you find what roster holes you have for the Cowboys entering the season. Or also defensive end, defensive tackle, tight end, wide receiver, safety, all big areas that were needs. Guess what the Cowboys have done? They've brought in one-year deals on guys that can contribute, for, for, guys that, four guys that can contribute, excuse me. Randall Cobb, Christian Covington, Kerry Hyder, George Iloka. That means you do not have to take a particular position in round two. Now, your needs are much more flexible. Yes, it's one, two, three, four, five, but defensive end, defensive tackle, safety, there's not a huge difference there. And beyond, once you get those top three guys out of the way, as far as I'm concerned, those are depth positions. Running back, a receiver, since Cobb's only on a one-year deal, I want a defensive end, I want a safety, I want a defensive lineman. You don't have to take one particular position, though. But I do want to know from you, what position is your top target in the NFL draft? For me, I'm looking at defensive end since there is no one else for DeMarcus Lawrence right now with Crawford and Gregory in trouble. I'm looking at defensive tackle as well. Both of those make a lot of sense. I think safety still makes sense as well because, again, all the guys the Cowboys have signed, they're one-year deals. They take care of you now, but not necessarily in the long term. All right, folks, make sure you are subscribed to YouTube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. Let's keep growing the channel. If you have any questions, throw them in there in the comment section. Put them to me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. And make sure you have notifications turned on. Keep you updated with all the latest content here on Chat Sports. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.